Hey people, um, I just want to really talk about Last of Us again. Um, I've been going, well, just remembering trailers and and watching YouTubers talking about the trailers and how the trailers were misleading. And how Neil Druckmann or Cutman um, practically lied to us and said he respected the characters in the game and stuff like that. And you get to play as Ellie for the whole game. Um, it just seems like a big massive fraud. Like seriously. <laughs> what Neil Druckmann or Cartman, whatever his name is. Um, Neil Prickface. Neil the Liar. I should... That's a good one. Neil the Liar. Um, practically lied to us about this game, <laughs> The Last of Us Part 2. He lied like a motherfucker. He lied about it, like, constantly. Saying we have respect for the characters, and, and you get to play as Ellie for the whole game, and you get to play as... Joel for the whole game and stuff like that. It's like I'm just saying, like, what a complete fucking liar. Like, seriously, just a fucking lie about that. And it just, it just makes me more not to buy the game. And I'm not buying the game anyway, fuck it. Um... <laughs> Um, and I just got off watching this YouTuber, um, something guy, whatever his name is, I'm just a guy, or something like that, and he just said these words about the game, it's a beautiful, when, when you, it's a, it's a beautiful mess of a game. And that's how he said it, I think. Um, and when he said that, truly that, that is true. Because it is beautiful, but it's a mess of a game. Like, it's it's disgusting of a game. And the story of it, it doesn't even make fucking sense what um, Neil the Liar had said about it. Like, you get to play as Ellie and fucking Joel. And you're playing this other character. And we're getting forced to play this other character. The character who killed one of the most beloved characters in The, in the Last of Us. And we get for and that's the thing is that that's 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 just really fucked up. Like you making us forced to play a character who killed Joel, and the character is Abby, 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 Abby. <sighs> and like I've been watching like him, the guy, whatever his name is. I, I'm just a guy. Um, Babyface, um, Geeks Plus Gamers, Jeremy's YouTube channel and stuff like that, and and Mr. H too, um, who I'm a big fan of, um, this, this game is complete garbage. And I'm, I'm kind of like thinking this game is not going to sell well. 
and I think it's going to probably destroy the brand of Naughty Dog because like as a gamer myself and I said that through some of my videos I think I talked about this I think I said something like this in one of the Last of Us videos um, Last of Us Part 2 videos um, something like this hasn't happened in video game history something this disgusting and and yeah and like that that's just not the that's not that's not the you know the whole part of this story what I'm talking about like him being a liar and all this stuff it's so much hypocrisy within this game and stuff like that and especially Sony and stuff like that too there's a sex scene with Abby and this dude and and I always wonder where all these parent like you know the parents back in the good old days used to complain about video games you know like where the fuck are they like seriously and yeah like and this has slipped under the Sony's radar and this is pretty fucking disgusting and very much hypocrisy in Sony's you know Sony gaming like you know standards like and I heard stories about like other people saying like about like anime games I never I don't play anime games like um Um, they say, um, they censor things and stuff like that with the games and stuff like that. And that's the thing is, and I heard stories about when Saint Rose, they had to censor some things in that game too. With all the nudity and stuff like that too. And yeah, but for this... To go like under Sony Sony Games radar, that just shows you how fucking hypocrite they are. Like that, they're, they're just letting this go, like you know, letting this sex scene be a part of this game, and it's pretty graphic. This sex scene, man, it's pretty graphic, and like. Like, if you were back in the old days, you know, when all the, you know, when the parents used to complain about video games, and, and to this day, like, put it this way, right? I wish they're still around, man, because really, um, this shit would be fucking removed. Like, seriously, the, if you got one of them parents back in them days, and if they're seeing their kids playing games like this, and stuff like that... And if they're seeing what this game is about and stuff like that, fuck man, you gotta you gotta have a fucking big massive oh like a, like a horde of parents fucking complaining about it. But it, it's not meant for kids anyway. But yeah, it's pretty much fucked up and disgusting. And th this whole game is absolutely a. A fucking lie it's been it's been a lie for a long time and yeah it's and they've been misleading people through the through all the trailers and stuff like that and just like you see some trailers Joel is in it and you see him in a place like well it was this one scene like in a trailer I watched you get to see Joel for the very first time face to face and and Ellie's probably in Seattle or something, and 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 that scene where Joel covers her mouth, you know, and she turns around and sees Joel, and that that is really misleading too, that part. Or it's probably a flashback scene. I don't know. Um, 
and then what I heard about it flashback scenes in the game too um yeah like it's just weird this game is completely unusual weird and damn right disgusting how they just treated all these great characters in his like in in this game's history like seriously this is I have no words to say about this game and I know all I know Neil Druck, Druckmann is a liar Neil the liar and that's what he's called Neil the liar and the deceiver and he's been deceiving people through this whole fucking game and since the first first trailer got you know years ago and they said this is going to be the best game it's the game is beautiful, man. The, the game is beautiful by rights, but the story and the plot and everything else about it, it's fucking disgusting. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense for a story. Like, with, um... And I think they were going this kind of like the same route as Beyond Two Souls, where they can... Where they have stories going back and forward all the time and stuff like that, but Beyond Two Souls done it more, more better in ways. The game with um, uh, Willem Dafoe and Ellie Page, and that game was a truly a masterpiece, and the story of that was fucking truly iconic and epic, and I truly love that game. I have to fucking get it again. That was stolen too. And yeah, like, um, it's just sad, like, it's sad, it's fucking sad what we do, you know, that's the thing is, like, I'm going to say to you, all my YouTube followers and stuff like that, um, like my followers on YouTube, my, my subscribers, um, what could we do? Like seriously, it's already ha it's already been made. It's already been created. They can't go back and you know re reboot like redo the game again. Like it's just it's impossible to redo this game because like if I was a game designer, right? This is the thing I will promise you. If I was a game designer, or a game director, or something, I would remake. The Last of Us Part 2 and I will make it right but but I don't have the education to make make video games but <sighs> see ya